Mike here again for Summer Racing Quick Flicks. Today we're going to address some questions you had about the differences between H-pipes and X-pipes. The question we most commonly get asked is what the difference between an H-pipe and an X-pipe is and which is more beneficial. Uh, before you can understand the differences between the two though, we got to understand what scavenging is. Exhaust scavenging is an important part of any exhaust system and how it functions and how it's going to go ahead and affect the power that's being produced by your engine. Exhaust scavenging is when you have the pulses working for you in that engine combination to where they're creating a full evacuation of the cylinder so that you don't have new fuel and air mixing with leftover burnt air and fuel um, so that you get a more complete um, combustion cycle out of the engine. So now that we know what scavenging is, our, our goal with, with both of these components is to equalize exhaust pulses so that the system scavenges, scavenges the best that it possibly can. Um, each of these is going to do this a little differently. Um, in fact, you're going to notice that there's, there's been a more of a focus towards X-pipe technology in comparison to H-pipe technology as of late. The reason for this is that we've come to find with H-pipe technology, which does work, what it does is equalize the pulses, but it doesn't really help the scavenging effect so much because what happens is it will equalize it from side to side of a typical V-type engine, but it doesn't exactly draw the gases and force the pulses don't work off of one another in the end to really improve exhaust flow. Whereas in comparison, an X-pipe, you're kind of forcing the two to converge together. Uh, and when that's happening, those pulses are also working together not only to equalize the pulses from side to side of the engine, but to draw on each other and make and speed up the exhaust flow and, and force the exhaust out of the system. So we've concluded that in most cases an X-pipe is almost always more beneficial than, than an H-pipe is. Uh, the other question we get a lot though is where should I place the X-pipe or the H-pipe in the system? Uh, the reality of this is, is that the vehicle is going to dictate this. The further upstream you can place it, the better, because you want those gases to converge as soon as possible. Uh, but in reality, you may only have you may have limited space on where this item can be placed. In some vehicles, you can't even get an X pipe in in general because of drive shaft interference or ground clearance interference issues. So there there's going to be a lot of things to consider before you decide to make this decision one way or the other on what's right for your vehicle. From a pure horsepower standpoint, an X pipe will always make more horsepower than an H pipe will. That doesn't mean that the X pipe is the right choice for your vehicle application, though. Uh, if you have a lower performance engine, an engine you know that doesn't have a lot of compression, a lot of wind, uh, you may come to find that you put the X pipe on, it makes more peak horsepower all day long, but it doesn't mean the vehicle is going to perform better because it lacks back pressure now. The loss of that back pressure will go ahead and hurt low end performance, so the torque and the acceleration of the vehicle will then lag, and you'll come to find that the vehicle actually got slower. It doesn't mean it's not making more power. It just means it's not producing the power where it needs to be produced in that engine combination. Therefore, you may come to find that the H pipe may be more beneficial. You may also come to find that neither of these is the right choice for your engine application because it really doesn't, uh, it really doesn't require it. It's really not going to benefit from either of these changes, and you may be better off just going with a standard exhaust system in the end. If you have any more questions on exhaust components, just leave us a question in the comment area. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com backslash summit racing. Or like Summit Racing on Facebook at facebook.com backslash summit racing equipment.